We're here in New York City, and today happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Alan, everybody knows that St. Patrick was Italian. That's true, and there's no better way to celebrate than with our crazy friends at Emilio's Bellotto. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Nice. What's up, brother? How you been? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, man, I'm ready for the after party. So Emilio says he's got some special pizza for the men who dine tonight. I think we're gonna go check it out. You know what? Let's go back in the kitchen and check them. Let's go. Holy mackerel! What wow, is this? I want to dive into it like a fool. Not really Is it? Not really done? Oh my! Garlic oil, oregano, wow. and tomato. Simple. That's it. Simple. Simple. That's all you need in life. This is the real deal. It doesn't get better than this. You make it doesn't feel get like Monopoly over here, Emilio. <laughs> put it on the table. Let's put it on the table. Okay, let's go. You ready? Let's go. Alan, look at this thing. Walk into Emilio's Bellato. This is what how you get? get welcome. This is how you get welcome, dude. I mean, it's a pizza boat. Let's go. You know, all I got to tell you is I, I got more than pizza. I got my Colicchio. Party begins. Wow. Nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So how long you been here? How long has uh, Miller's Bellotto been here? 23 years. So this place has been here since 1956. They ran it down to the ground. And you, you came in? Yeah, it took 23 years to bring it up. Yo, come style. Nick Salino. <laughs> hey, Alan, how you doing? How you doing? It's nice to see you. Good to see you. I got a button up for this. Come and style, come on. 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 I have no idea what was just said. Sounded good to me, but it seems to know what was going on. Listen, listen. You want to have Italian food in New York? York City yes. and feel like you're in Italy, yes. you're not going to understand what the guys are saying. So, so I'm in the right place. Yes, you're in the right place. To okay, good. So let's go into you the better be ready to manja. Let's go. <laughs> I went to college. I was alone in a college dorm like anybody else who's going to school like here who's came before me. I used to eat with my parents, my brother, my cousins on the other side of the phone so I could feel as if I was still having dinner with my family. So one day I told my mother, I remember I wrote this letter and I was crying. I say, Mom, I love America, but the food here was so bad. So my mother wrote me a recipe book. For all of you at this table, that is the first book that I wrote, called Cucina Mori. This book came out in 1994. I have it. <laughs> My mother wrote the book not by saying a teaspoon. She would write the book like this. When you make it, put a pinch of salt. But don't do it like Tia Cicina. She's too fat, she's got big fingers. <laughs> she puts too much salt all the time. She would write these long stories. And I remember reading this book and listening to my mother writing this thing. And I wasn't getting a recipe, I was getting a story. So the first book that I ever done, for those of you who read it, which in a morning was filled with the stories of my family. And that's exactly how I learned to cook. And I'm thinking that what there is in, in the essence of food, of who we are. It's a connection to our past. A past that I think is more beautiful than what it really is or was. Because in memory of things are that much more beautiful. But they live through our food. They live through the things that we do. And an evening like this, a lot of people say it's a bunch of guys getting together and beginning. Really what it is is a sharing of, of memories. I have my memory, he has his, he has his, he has this. But at the end of the day, it reminds us of those beautiful moments of our youth. Everything seemed to make sense. Everything that I had tonight was fantastic. I felt, yeah. and I'm saying it in front of the camera, so that there is a record of this, and nobody goes back and then changes their mind saying that it was. That I ate as good as I ate at my family. There's more difficulty and more artistry in doing something simple and doing it right. When you did with sausages and the broccoli wrap tonight, this was a little masterpiece, because the last time I seen sausages cook like this was at my house. Unless you and my father spoke behind my back before he passed away, I don't know is that you cook like this. Bravo! 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 Thank you. This is fabulous. Fabulous. I want to thank Nick Salino. I want to thank Mike for organizing this. Obviously the men who died need no introduction. Lou Mata, a world-class photographer. Ah, cool. And Emilio Balado, thank you for providing us with a really wonderful Emilio! Emilio! 
I know what I do. That's, you know, it's not work, it's love. It's love. We've had lots of dinners, we've had lots of experiences, but this was something special. We had wonderful food, we're in the middle of Little Italy, the way it used to be. Gentlemen sitting down, telling stories about family. This is all about the food, and the food was outrageous. Bottom line, you want Italian food like you've never had before in your life? Emilio Bellato's, Little Italy, New York City, nothing like it.